Yep, an erupting castle. Classic 16-bit era stuff. It's all a bit Castlevania, actually. Anyway, hello and welcome to Fatal Labyrinth. I recently bought the Ultimate Mega Drive collection for the Xbox 360. Being someone who played a moderate amount of Mega Drive back in the day, or Genesis for those of you who are not from the UK. Fatal Labyrinth is one of the games in the collection that I wasn't familiar with. And it's a roguelike. And I know I play a lot of those on this channel, but I'm just absolutely stunned by this one because I had no idea there were any roguelikes back on the older consoles. And at the time, had I been confronted with the idea of a game that changes every time you play it, I would have been absolutely flabbergasted. So I'm taking this opportunity to go back and play something that I didn't play at the time, a bit of Fatal Labyrinth. So, as far as I can tell, there's a castle, and there's a guy. Let's talk to some villagers. I have, I have played this once, um, immediately after I bought the game last week, so we're looking at... I put maybe 15-20 minutes into it and got killed. So I do know a little bit about it. The dragon must be destroyed before we get trapped in a world of darkness. Okay. Help! I'm scared! The dragon is coming! Oh dear. It's all going a bit pear-shaped for the village. There's a graveyard up ahead. That's where all the departed souls go. Why would you tell someone this? <laughs> it's um, old retro RPG dialogue stuff. In that, if this guy is... If our player character is a local from this town, they don't need to tell him this stuff. And if he isn't, why is this the first thing they say to him? To him. I dropped my H there like a right commoner. I heard that a brave swordsman defeated the dragon a long time ago. I wonder if I have to go to school tomorrow. Is that something you learned at school? If so, stop going. No more sunlight! Please destroy the dragon so I can dry my laundry! <laughs> Uh, Alright. Dragonia, the legendary castle, has risen once more. Looking like Castlevania. The end of the world is coming. The ghouls keep coming back, even if we defeat them. Oh no. So in fact, we're not going to try and defeat them this time. We're going to just let this guy deal with it. Ghouls stole the holy, holy goblet. Oh dear. Ghouls invaded the village and stole the holy goblet. Yeah, have you and the guy across the street been talking? Anyway... Dialogue and plot aren't really the point. Yet, yeah, Ghoul has stolen the Holy Goblet, the source of light which illuminates the world. How does one cup illuminate the world? That's a little peculiar. But that being the case, we need to get it back. So let's head in. Where do you think you're going? No, don't even try it. Many have fought the dragon, but failed. Well, frankly, tough shit! So you're going regardless of the danger involved. Make sure you tell everyone that you're leaving. Take care. So I have to t tell them all again? Don't use anything before finding out what it does. So, actually they give us some handy tips for exploring. I didn't know that. You say you didn't talk to them the first time. It's difficult to aim an axe, but it's powerful. It's easy to aim a spear, but not as powerful. Actually, this is useful beginner advice. Beware of magic. Not so useful. Yeah, thanks for that. You may find a powerful sword. Well, I hope so. The spirit of the Holy Goblet be with you. Spirits from a goblet are the lasting end. Go get that dragon! Yeah, you haven't changed your dialogue at all. God. Unimaginative. Alright. Let's head in. Here we go. And I'm controlling this with the D-pad to move around. Because it's slightly easier than using the analog stick. A will bring up the menu once we're inside, and X will basically do everything else. Pick up items and all that stuff. Like any roguelike, randomly generated. Or procedurally generated. Alright, let's pick this up. Leather armour. 
yellow potion. So here's our menu with all the different types of item available across the top. So let's put on this leather armor, see what it does. Equipped with the leather armor. Now you have to go back into the menu to see its stats. The strength of this item is two points. Fine. Not going to drink the potion just yet. Well, let's go wandering. Oh dear. This is bad. Come on, come in here. Come on, come in here. Come and get me. No? Right. I'll come to you then, I suppose. Die! Die! I'm damaging by one point, mostly missing. Oh no! No! Oh, no! Stop casting spells on me, you little bitch! Quit it! Stab him! Stab him! Finally! Right, stop the blob. Which sounds deeply unpleasant. Stop the bat, which actually looks like more of a flying eyeball, but I believe it's meant to be a bat. Yeah, you've destroyed the bat. Let's see if the blobs come in. They came in close enough to get stabbed. I can't believe we actually survived that whole room full of enemies. That was pretty grim. I thought that might, in fact, finish us off before we can get started. Come on. Something about the design of the floors here reminds me of Azure Dreams. Well, I suppose it should be the other way around. Though. Picked up Short Sword. Probably, oops, probably better than our crappy knife or whatever we're using. Let's see. Don't know yet. The knife is one point of power though, so it can't be any worse. Unless it's cursed, I suppose. I don't know if this game has cursed items. Short Sword is two points. Fine. Picked up a brown scroll. Don't particularly want to use that just yet. Um, but even though that person in the village said don't use something until you know what it does, the fact is, while I think some items can kill you outright, so you do have to be a bit careful, the fact is, so far I haven't seen many ways to actually find out what things do other than using them. Alright. Now, I, I want to point out again, this game is on the Mega Drive, or was on the Mega Drive. I didn't even know such a thing was possible. And, I mean, I would have enjoyed this anyway, if it was always the same, but the very idea of a game that's different each time would have blown my mind. Picked up a short bow. Um, I've never successfully used a bow. I say never. Dur during the few minutes I played this before, I didn't successfully use a bow. I think you need arrows to go with it. And I didn't have any. And I don't have any now! So, retreading familiar ground. Oh, there's the magician again. Bet he's going to freeze me again like a tosser. Take this! Oh, don't, don't flank me, you bunch of bastards. Come on, stab him! They always do that. They always cast a series of these freezing spells on you. So they freeze you and then just keep refreezing you over and over. Very irritating. Alright. Upwards. Now I suppose you have to wait for the blobs to come in. I don't think you can just wait on the spot as you can in later games. So I'll just keep walking back and forth. Stab the bat! Urgh. Come on. Come on, down you come. Come on. Alright, fine. I'll come and get you then. Urgh. And you, magician. The magic circle should kick you out, these antics. Come on. At last. Urgh. Knife to the face will sort you out. Urgh. Well, short sword to the face, I suppose. Come on. Quit it! Quit it! Good grief. Ugh. I really need a better weapon so I can actually take these guys out a little more efficiently. Ugh. Oh, for 
God's sake. No! At last. Right. So, like a lot of roguelikes that came later, this game doesn't mess around. It's pretty damn tough right from the outset. In fact, the one time I've played this before, the very first room almost did me in. Okay, keep knifing this, whatever it is, worm or whatever. Worm, yes. That shouldn't be a problem. Just stick a knife in it. There we go. We are a little bit lacking health, but that can't really be helped. I mean, we have a potion and we have a scroll, but we don't know what either one does. So, in our current injured position, I'm not sure I want to take that risk. Picked up food. Um, not sure how food works in this, whether you have to actively eat it or whether it's consumed automatically or whether it is, in fact, um, a healing item. I don't know. All right, keep jabbing the worm. Your level has been raised. The text at the bottom has gone red. I assume that's because our health is low. Yeah, looks that way. All right, pick up a green ring and a lance. All right, I've never had a lance before. Let's equip it and see what happens. Okay. Two points. Same as the short sword, but it looks a bit more fancy. So let's hang on to that. And let's try equipping that ring that we just picked up. Green ring. Isn't that a sitcom? Alright. The blizzard ring. Um, no idea. I would guess ice magic resistance or something, but that is just an educated guess. Alright, let's keep stabbing this magician when we get a chance. Unfortunately, the lance, although it looks very pretty, isn't any more damaging than the short sword. Disappointingly. Okay. It may have better accuracy though. That would be my guess. I mean, that guy in the village remarked that a spear is less damaging but more accurate, thus more likely to hit, than an axe is. And I assume the same thing goes for lance and short sword, probably. I'd guess short sword is sort of middle of the road, or swords in the middle of the road. Anyway, we picked up another ring, so let's try that on. Blue one. Your armour has been strengthened. So. Oh, we can only wear one at a time. Let's stick with the armour increasing one. This is a potion. Yep, grey potion. Um, health is still pretty low, actually. Maximum health has gone up noticeably from, I think, 50 is the starting point. Up to 62, so that's a nice improvement, but I still don't feel tremendously safe. Well, I think we've pretty much covered this floor. I know there were some stairs somewhere. What was that? Was that the previous floor? Um, no, there we go. Upwards. Yes, un unlike some roguelikes, uh, the aim seems to be to ascend, rather than to descend. Right, we are actually making short work of the magicians thanks to this spear, which I assume must be accuracy. We do seem to be scoring hits a lot more often. Shit. Don't like that attack. Oh god. Alright, let's keep stabbing the crystal. Well, apparently it's called Ice Bar, which sounds like a cocktail. Let's pick this up. Leather helm, and this food, and some leather armour. Well, we're already wearing leather armour, so let's not bother with that, but um, we should put a helmet on, really. Equip leather helm. Doesn't really matter how much protection it gives us. And look at this! This is something you don't see even in quite thoroughly developed modern roguelikes. And I don't mean just the Xbox variety, like Cursed Loot and that sort of thing. Um, you do see it in Dungeons of Desolation, but you don't see it in, say, Dungeons of Dreadmoor. Um, and that is, when we put on different clothes, our character's appearance changes. 
And it's such a small thing, but again, back in the day, when this game was new, or at least of the current generation, changing the appearance of your character with different equipment would have boggled my mind. I had seen it a little bit in, say, The Legend of Zelda, where wearing a certain tunic um, changes your colour, but you, you still wear the same clothes, it's just a different colour. This actually changes, you know, our guy put a hat on, and that, that would have absolutely stunned me. I mean, this game would have been incredible. I don't know that I would necessarily have enjoyed it. It might have been too difficult for me, or I might not have um, necessarily appreciated the procedural generation back in the day. That's actually quite a recent development in my taste. Um, but the things that are possible here, just the concepts involved in it, would have absolutely stunned me. I, I really, really think they would. Anyway. Snail. Can't be that tough, but oh wait, it's a dungeon snail, so it's going to be insanely tough. Tougher than anything else so far. Good god! Die already! Wow, that took more hits than any other enemy that we've fought so far. Let's just kill off the worm. Oh, I quickly need to kill off the worm before I go out. Or something. You know what I mean. Alright, um, pick up this meat. Oh! It says I can't eat anymore, so... It sounds like, actually, you eat the food as soon as you pick it up. You don't carry it around and eat it later. Let's try and get rid of this magician before this gang of friends completely annihilates us. Come on. Oh my god. Can I have a turn, please? Seriously, huh? Bugger me! Alright, I'm getting desperate here. Let's use a scroll. It said something like items have appeared from the darkness. I don't really know what that is. Oh, come on, give me a break! And that's it. We were absolutely ripped to shreds by that gang of enemies, thanks to the Magician and his infinitely renewing paralysis spell. Well, that'll do for my first recorded attempt at Fatal Labyrinth. Um. Maybe I'll have another go sometime. I don't know if I actually want to turn this into a series, but um, who knows? Maybe I will. Knowing me, I probably will. Anyway, rejoin me the next time I upload a video and see what it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you then.